Howdy folks. Um, today is going to be a real short and sweet one. Some of you, uh, you know, probably already know all about this stuff. Some of you, maybe you don't. So, uh, just going to do a short and sweet uh, how to repair an extension cord. Uh, my method is, of course, like most of the things and, and stuff that I do on this channel, my way of doing is a little different than everybody else's. So, I'm just going to run through it here real quick now, won't. You're going to need wire cutters, strippers. You're going to need a broken brand new extension cord and this one is it's brand spanking new i plugged it in it worked for about four seconds and uh yeah then the device that i was running stopped working <laughs> turns out it was a bad cord one of these ends i'm sure just got screwed up but uh, i'm going to repurpose it uh for actually some light stands that i or some studio lighting that i built which i'll put a link to uh, up in there if you want to check that out really cool uh, really bright really cheap uh highly recommend anyway uh, if you need some super bright studio lights check that out uh, i'm going to use this for that and uh, what i already did i took this 25 foot broken brand new extension cord and i chopped it right in half that's going to work out perfect because i built two studio lights and i need to extendify both of those cords and this is how i'm going to do it i don't know don't care which one of these pre-molded ends are bad but uh, I'm gonna hack them both off because I got the other thing that you're gonna need which is uh, not crap quality but cheap price these uh, a whole box of and I'll put a link to everything both male and female um, you know universal install your own end kind of thing so uh, yeah link for that will be in the description you got to get your own broken uh, extension cord, but uh, I'm going to tin the ends because it's just a better way of doing. It just is. And to do that, you're going to need a soldering apparatus. And my preferred version of is uh, this little butane powder, which link will be down in the uh, description and the review that I did on this. I did two of them. I did a long-term review and a, you know, kind of an unboxing, uh, put it through uh, torture testing. Uh, the links will be up there and, and down in the description. So you need some soldering uh, apparatus, you need a broken cord, some cutters, strippers, a uh, box of ends or at least enough to repair a cord. And this is my third hand. Uh, nice to have. I mean, can't count the number of times I've used this. But uh, yeah, that's what we're getting into here. So I'm going to take a uh, different pair of cutters, otherwise known as dikes. And because I know I'm not saving these ends, I'm just going to put them in the old trash right where they freaking belong. Like so and like so. And just because I'm going to use a razor blade for removing the uh, sheathing on this here extension cord. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess a utility knife or whatever you got laying around, you know, a, a sharp, super sharp steak knife or something like that. Just go paper thin. What you want to do is you want to score you want to score it, not not cutting all the way through, just score it, and then at the end, push real hard. That way, you get this little tear-off thing, and because you created a score line, you can just kind of like tear it. You, you see what I'm doing there? I, I only scored the, the outer plastic here, the little vinyl sheathing, cheap crap that it is, and I didn't I didn't touch a wire. I didn't, I didn't uh, chafe any of the... Uh, coating on the wire I just you know really light just score it and then you know get a little heavy brutal with it here at the very end and there you go so I mean you're gonna want I don't know you're gonna want about that much you can always trim it to uh, trim your wires to length if it's too much or if you got to cut more off well you know how to do it right we're going to Strip some off there. Now this is uh, 
pretty crappy wire. It's not it's not good stuff at all. It's like 16 gauge. I mean, it, it's it's it'll be good enough for you know 15 amps, but you know more than that, you're gonna start getting really hot, and it's gonna start getting really flexible and very unhappy very quickly. Um, twist them together. Try to make them all nice and unified. And then, because I'm working with this bench here, I don't want my cord falling down. Third hand is handy, but it's not very strong. I'm going to stick them in like so. And one by one here, I'm just gonna tin the ends. Real short and sweet like. Get this guy out and uh, get it fired up. I think it's got gas in it. It should have gas in it. And I love this. This thing is so freaking cool, even though it's super hot. I'm never going to be without one again. Lightly cinch that down. Oh. And. working yep we got some heat turn her up can you hear it yeah it makes that hissing noise you can see the can you see it if I get you closer maybe see the jet hmm. I don't know if you can see it or not whatever there's a an exhaust jet up in there you know what this thing sounds like it's out of gas because I got that all yeah it's out of gas I gotta get more <laughs> all right um, these things work great once you have gas in them here uh, put it a little closer so you can hear now it works when I throttle up and yeah that thing is toaster toaster <laughs> now can you see the oh yeah now you can see the exhaust jet. That's what I was trying to show you. All right. Um, yeah, we don't got to go nuts here. What I do, what I use, I should say, for solder. I mean, use whatever you got. But uh, I use, uh, well, it's thin gauge. You know what? And I can't remember what gauge uh, solder this is. But uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty damn thin stuff, as I'm sure you can see. Anyway, it's silver bearing solder meaning that it actually contains actual silver because silver melts at a relatively lower temperature, um, but it's also a better conductor even than gold. So I always use it on all of my electrical devices. I don't care if I'm soldering circuits together or if I'm soldering wires, I use silver bearing solder always for everything. Uh, unless I'm doing plumbing, yeah, you know what I mean? But uh, anywho, you put a little, a little dabble, do you? And this guy's smoking. And blow through this here real quick. Beautiful. The reason I'm doing this and the reason I suggest that you guys do it is because this wire is stranded. And stranded wire doesn't stay together when you clamp down on it. That's the whole point and purpose of this for me. That's why I do it. And uh, well, I, I guess it's technically a safety thing. Could be anyway. But uh, that was short and sweet. Now, let me get you close. Oh, yeah. Why don't I unwrap that? Now you can see, hopefully, the ends are all nicely tinned. And when you clamp down on them, now this, this wire isn't going to spread out. Uh, you know, the, 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 the stranded wire, that's what it would do. If you start biting down on this with a screw, which is the way these, uh, which is the way these, uh, whatever, these receptacles uh, attach themselves, you know, you got to screw them down. They literally clamp down. Well, they smush the wire out, and that's just, it's just bad time. <laughs> it's no damn good. So I highly recommend you do this. If you do this, you'll be good forevermore. And to the, the, these uh, ends have a tendency to want to come loose. I uh, will take one apart real quick and uh, 
show you more once I get it apart. All right, I'll, uh, I'll show you what, uh, what the guts of these things look like. And primary reason why I bought these, well, two of them. One was, uh, quant well, three. <laughs> Quantity, price, and uh, the way they uh, uh, are electrically isolated inside. Anywho, you take, uh, you take your screws, you loosen them up on the back side, and that allows you to get your wire in. You take these screws out here on the front side, and that allows the whole apparatus to fall apart. Now, what I, uh, reason I got these is, uh, yep, right in there. I very much like the way these uh, insulate and isolate each wire from each another. Now, they're the same style of uh, clamp down. Where am I? Over there. Same style of clamp down that you'll see on pretty much everything out there. But they these... Well, they're, they're very nicely separated, and I just like that. I thought that was a good idea. It looked like a reasonable quality um, piece, part. Yeah, I'm not saying it feels like the highest quality thing I've ever held in my hands, but, you know, it's, it's plastic. They're all plastic, and, you know, hey, why pay more for plastic than you have to, right? Anyway, um, yeah, I like these. I thought they were pretty okay. Now, um, line and neutral. That's all we got to do. Which wire goes where? Uh, this larger slit here on the female receptacle, that's uh, neutral. The smaller one is line, and that is, uh, of course, your ground wire. Uh, the uh, wire colors are as such. Well, actually, it would go <laughs> like this. Black wire, white wire, and green wire. Just like that. I think you can kind of see. Anyway, I'll put a picture of it, a static picture up here, just in case you was, was wondering. So, uh, nothing to her but to uh, yeah. stick that in under the clamp, like so. And tighten the clamp. Ah, get in there now. All right, once uh, you got your wires inserted, uh, what I like to do, I, I give it a, just a couple of quick wraps here of a, with electrical tape, uh, just so that when you go clamping down on this, yeah, when you go clamping down on it, you got an extra layer of protection. So, you know, when I mean, you're literally going to squeeze the crap out of this to lock this whole whole apparatus together, and I'd rather just have a little extra protection so that you don't cut into this this rather uh, cheap vinyl coat in here. So uh, just, you know, I, I don't know, call it a tech tip or whatever, but uh, that's what I do anywho. And uh, yeah, there's nothing more to her but to uh, screw the uh, ends back together. Well, I'll do that real quick then off, uh, get her off camera. You don't need to see. Me wasting all kinds of time on that, but uh, you get the idea, right? A's and B's go together like yo and like so. And yeah, I'll show you once more once the uh, thing's all finished up. And that's pretty much the name of the game right there. Once she's all back together, it uh, looks like a pretty decent, uh, you know, uh, receptacle connection. Looking here on the back side, hopefully you can see why I did the tape thing. See how it just smushes down on that? Yeah, a little extra protection there. You know, certainly isn't going to hurt anything. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's the name of the game here. Now you just simply do that. Uh, for me, i got to do it three more times. For you, you probably only have to do it once. But, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll, I'll finish up the other three here, and uh, then we'll wrap this up. Like I said, short and sweet one, right? If I stop bumping that damn camera. All right, so um, yeah, real short and sweet. Like that's the finished product. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I've shown you everything you need to uh, need to see and know to make your own. Um, like I said, you're probably going to be doing one end, but uh, or one, yeah, two ends rather than four, unless you're going to hack a part of an extension cord like I just did. But uh, I'm, I'm happy with these ends. I'll tell you what, they were 
they were what I was hoping they were going to be. So I think you'll be happy with them too. Uh, again, link is down there. Um, just for, because, well, I'm shameless, I'm gonna promote my own videos here. I'm gonna show you exactly why I made these. Real quick, I won't. Alrighty, um, this is why I made these uh, two, uh, you know, separate extension cords here, because I built two of these lights. And just to make sure that it works, we'll uh, plug them in once real quick, like, presto. Dial it up, dial it down. Uh, these are freaking incredible. Again, check out the, the link, you know, that I put up there and down there and everywhere I can stick it, I'll stick it. Uh, you can't touch this amount of studio lighting power for 300 bucks. And I built two of these lights for 300 bucks. <clears throat> freaking incredible. Incredible. Uh, just, uh, Real quick, yeah, there's another one. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Anyway, do the, 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 the likes, the thumbs, and the subscribes, and the bells, and the whistles, and all that jazz. And uh, hey, you know, we're going to wrap it up right here, I think. We'll see you in the next one. Aight. Cheers.